No way. No way. I want to see the receipts. Hi guys, it's Tiana Mojo, and today's video is one that I really did not intend on originally filming when I made my first Freely video. I kind of just wanted it to be like one and done, drops mic, like that's it, that's how I feel, blah blah blah, moves on. Because the way that I felt in that video is still the way that I feel now. I'm not coming on here to like back down, bullying is wrong, no matter the cause. However, there are some things that I want to clarify really quickly because I have a lot of people saying that I lied or that I'm a liar, or people just saying that I did this to gain views or I did this because I'm a malicious person or just anything like that and I don't owe anyone any explanation however I don't want the people that support me to look at me any differently and I know that they're no matter what I say to some extent I could come on here clarifying absolutely everything be 100% right have only a motive of positivity and there's going to be that select group of people that don't see that and are mad at me no matter what but my viewers and my subscribers that understand my heart and understand where I'm coming from I want to clarify some things to them really quickly okay before I complete completely get into everything I have a question for all of Freely's viewers I guess before I get into this video because I am genuinely genuinely perplexed I never once said that her knowledge on veganism is wrong I never once said that what she was doing wasn't effective to a certain extent I never once said that everything she's doing is all wrong I never once discredited her knowledge and her power I simply asked her to be more positive I do not understand how anyone can be mad at me for asking another human being to be more positive and more kind to others. I don't understand how any other human being can be mad at me for asking another person to be nicer to other people. I came on here and said veganism is so amazing. I know Freely agrees with that. So I challenge her to make 30 positive videos about veganism. And so many people are mad at me for that and I don't understand how anyone can be mad at me for just simply wanting to spread positivity. I want to take the namesake off of vegans that we are harsh and that we are mean and that we are bullies, etc, etc. I wanted to try to change that and I looked at a lot of different groups of people that I felt like Freely was targeting and really hurting, like young girls, people who are overweight, anemics for example in my video and I wanted those people to not have to feel like that. I didn't want to see those people be targeted anymore and I simply challenged her to not be mean to any more groups of people and just to really focus on the food and the diet and the amazing thing that is veganism. And I'm really, really lost at how anyone could be mad at me for that, you know? Hashtag Tana lies, Tana lied, blah, blah, blah. I would never lie on YouTube in any video to you guys about anything for any reason. What people don't realize is being a story time channel and making mainly stories where I talk about instances from my life, if I were ever caught lying, I would then become immediately non-credible. If I were ever on here telling lies and not telling the truth, I would lose you guys. I would not be credible. I would not be known as being real anymore. Why would I fuck that up? You know what I mean? All I ever want to do with my channel or what I'm doing is come on here and you guys know, if you know one thing for my channel is that I am being real and that I'm being truthful and that I'm being credible and that I'm being honest. Because if I ever lose that, I lose everything I care about, which is you guys, which is this channel, which is making videos, which is changing lives, which is making you guys happy. And like, you guys know that. I've always come on and said, that whether I have a thousand subscribers or a million subscribers or five views or five million views or whatever it may be, I will always be a fucking honest ass real ass bitch because I'm not gonna fuck up what I have. I wanted to be one of the first people like YouTubers, girls, story time people that came on YouTube and told it how it fucking is and did not care about the repercussions. I'm not in this for sponsors. I'm not in this for money. If I was, like I've said from the beginning, I would be sitting here doing fucking Numi Curling Wand sponsorships and audible.com plugs and all of that fucking bullshit. I'm in this to be real. If I was in this for anything other than that, my videos would not be the way that they are. I wouldn't make videos telling stories about shitty companies so the companies didn't want to work with me. I wouldn't lie. Like, that, it doesn't make sense if you really think about it. I have no reason to lie to you and I never will. And I know that there are some people that now, after seeing Freely's fucking video, are gonna still think I'm a liar, but there's nothing that I can really do about that and I would never lie to you guys. So if you came to this video for proof of anything that I said, I'm going to be putting all of that in the video throughout the video and in click-through links below, such as links to forums, etc. You can go ahead and click through to know that I would never just come on here and say a bunch of random bullshit in order to bash someone if it was not true. I I don't have that kind of motive, okay? Okay. So the most recent accusation that I want to touch on is two quick things about Freely's boyfriend and some things that I said, okay? 
I never called Freely's boyfriend a pedophile. Do I see him out here touching children? Is he posting fucking child pornography to his like feet or anything like that? I never called him a pedophile. I never asked anyone to call him a pedophile. And Freely came on making a video saying like, fuck you, Tana. Like, you called my boyfriend a pedophile. Like, da 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 da. I never called him that. She only made that video to make me look bad when I never said that. I said that he was creepy, and that's because he said he wanted to see a live link of me getting fucked with a toothbrush. And then Freely went on to say that my Twitter bio, because it's like a joke about people wanting to fuck me, it's a complete and utter sarcastic joke, that because that's my Twitter bio, that's okay for her boyfriend to make those comments. No, it's not. Even if I'm joking about my own sexuality, why is your 40 year old boyfriend making comments about wanting to be sexual to me? Okay, that's like somebody saying that someone got raped because of what they were wearing. That's the 19th century We're not gonna keep doing that. It doesn't matter what a girl chooses to put on her body That doesn't mean people should be sexually objective to that girl You know what I mean? I could come on my YouTube videos with absolutely no clothes on or an entire fucking turtleneck Snuggie on and that doesn't mean that her 40 year old boyfriend has the right to come on the internet and say He wants to see a link of me getting fucked with a toothbrush and the other thing touching on her boyfriend really really quickly that I think is kind of comical is that I made a video saying that he is a bully and that everything he says is attacking other human beings and that it's really fucked up and rude and all he could respond to what I said was making four videos attacking my looks, mispronouncing my name, saying that he won't watch my videos and that I'm a Kylie Jenner wannabe. Why didn't you talk about the fact that you offended anemic people everywhere and that you said terrible, rude things to lots of other people? He can't touch on that because he knows I'm right. If he, I was wrong and he wasn't a bully, he would have come on his channel and said, here are the reasons why I'm not a bully. But all he could talk about is how I look bad and I look like I've had plastic surgery and that my parents must pay for where I I live blah 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 first of all I think it's a little chauvinistic to automatically assume because I'm young and a girl that I can't pay for my own lifestyle I'm independent and that's just that but he couldn't deny that he was a bully so all he could do is bully me some more you know what I mean another thing that really really frustrated me is the age thing a lot of people are making response videos and saying that just because I'm 17 that I don't know what I'm talking about and that I'm dumb and that I'm unintelligent etc I don't understand why me coming on the internet saying this person is a bully and I want them to stop has anything to do with my age whatsoever I could be 40 and saying that I could be 8 and saying that I could be 25 and saying that this person is mean to other people so I would like them to stop where where does my age affect that you know I, I've never understood how age really affects something like that and I feel like it's immediately older people's first defense to say like oh they're young and they're dumb blah 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 instead of actually addressing the situation I asked freely why she was so mean to other people and all she could say is that I'm young you know what I mean and I just don't think that that's very fair I think that that's very stuck in the past generation of if you're young and you're not an adult and you don't have life experience you automatically are worth nothing and you have nothing to say of intelligence and I want my channel to be somewhere where I let you guys know that even if you're young that your voice does matter and you can make a difference in today's generation in today's society and that's what I want my videos to preach that's what I want my viewers to know that even if you're eight or nine but you have something to say it matters and just because I'm 17 that doesn't mean I can't come on and say this person is cruel to other human beings and that's wrong you know what turned me vegan is not a single soul person or what some single solitary person said to me it's the cruelty to animals let's look at the bigger picture even if freely did make four or five videos about me I said in a previous videos before she ever made videos about me that I was intending on going vegan and I went vegan because I don't think um, I know pigs have the same intelligence as pet dogs I'm not gonna keep eating pigs for fucking lunch I don't like what they do to chickens and what they do to cows I did a bunch of research however I have said from the beginning what freely does changing people vegan is amazing and I never once attacked that what I'm sitting here questioning is how she's so mean to other people and why that is okay so for everybody saying what freely did turn you vegan okay if anything maybe her showing me what's wrong with what they're doing to animals almost turned me vegan, but her being just downright cruel and bullying other people has absolutely nothing to do with the way I'm vegan and that's not an excuse for the way she treats other people, okay? In one of Freely's videos, she went really quickly to just say, well, Tana, uh, my titles are clickbait just like your titles are clickbait. How dare you attack my titles? That's dumb, blah, blah, blah. My titles may be clickbait. There is nothing motherfucking wrong with any clickbait title. And I'm not coming on here trying to be like, my titles aren't clickbait, angel halo over my head, blah, blah, blah. 
your titles directly antagonize other people in a negative or untrue way, okay? And I don't understand how you think that's okay. I simply stated that I don't really respect YouTubers that use other people's names and likenesses in order to gain all of their views and subscribers. I think that it would be a lot more amazing if you used honest titles, or at least if you're gonna use clickbait titles, they be nice. I don't. I didn't say that clickbait titles were wrong freely. I said that your titles directly are negatively putting someone else's name out there and that isn't fair to those people like Bethany Moda, Kendall Jenner, Jenna Marbles, Trisha Paytas. Like you use those people's names and likenesses in a negative way and I just didn't think that was very cool and that's what I was talking about. Not clickbait, use all the clickbait in the world. Hi, hello, I do that. So the first thing I was called out on lying about was the plus size model trend is disgusting. Not only do I have somebody gave me a screenshot of the old title, but I had so many of you guys tweeting me telling me that you had seen that title before, that you had remembered it. A lot of people were commenting that on Freely's video but they, she was deleting their comments. And for anybody that says things like that are photoshopped, I have a video right here showing that it's not photoshopped. For anybody who thinks that that comment that Freely responded to me with was fake or somehow BS, I assure you that it was not in any way, shape, or form. The internet does not lie, hun. And then below, I'm going to link a forum that is from September of 2014 where people are talking about that video. So if anybody says, like, all of this stuff is new and upcoming, these are actual people in 2014 discussing that video way before my video was even uploaded, just so you guys know that from that point that it's also true and it's not just my subscribers finding this stuff or making this stuff, according to Freely. Here is something from 2014 to prove my point. I said that they fat shamed a lot of other people and they both were really quick to deny that, so I'm going to include some posts on the screen from Durian's Instagram where he filmed people that were overweight without their consent and then had negative things to say about them. So he just like went in public and like took it upon himself to record people that he felt overweight, like did not know them, random people, and put really mean captions beside them. struck a chord to me that I was just like holy fuck this is so fucked up it's a selfie of him next to someone who's overweight and then he put it in a collage with another person where he just like took their picture and the caption of this is just sitting here on the plane I got grief that my bag was two kilograms over the limit this couple are about 110 kilograms combined over the limit should we charge people fat tax at airports especially considering the greasy meals I saw them eat on the plane they really don't give a fuck about their health or the burden they have on the community choosing to stay obese. Random people, and that is his caption. You can still go find that on his Instagram if he doesn't delete it. And I'm sure Durian will make a reaction video to this saying I've had plastic surgery even though I haven't, but he won't actually discuss the fact that he shamed those other people. Oh no! Boyfriend uploaded a collage of Kylie Jenner. This is what he does in his free time. Talks about her Botox and that she's not gonna last until Freely's age. But then the last sentence says she would make a good lady boy though because that's what you call people, lady boys. That's awesome. And he's really known against being against gay people like that's just like one of the things that he does on his channel that I'm not for. Freely said I lied about the title. Here's an original screenshot of Tana Mojo takes her finger off of her clit. I had someone, one of my viewers went through like the archives and found that so thank you to you. video saying a really big thank you to you guys because while I am sitting here talking about all of the people that were mad at me and mad at me asking someone to stop bullying I have had such an endless amount of support and a lot of and a lot of reaction videos saying they understand where I'm coming from I just want this to end I want you guys to know that from my end I never once wanted this to be a feud or think it's a feud or have any ill will towards anyone or want to keep fighting or anything like that I genuinely just want to see more positivity and I wanted to challenge the largest vegan activist to be positive because I think that it would be such an amazing thing. That offer is still up on the table if Freely 
really would ever want to do it, but I'm sure she'll just react to the points of this video that she can attack and not the actual points, you know what I mean? I just want to say thank you to you guys for all the support that you've been giving me. You guys have left me so many amazing comments, so many amazing tweets, and I want to say a huge thank you to so fucking many of my YouTube friends who are big YouTubers here also that were saying thank you to me and saying they understand and saying that I was finally saying something that nobody ever says. I literally had so many YouTubers with 1 million, 2 million plus subscribers reaching out to me saying like you said what I wanted to say but I couldn't say because I was afraid of the hate and knowing that I was able to do something like that and keep it that real on my channel is all I've ever fucking wanted from this channel and I will still continue to do that. So I'm ending this by saying thank you to everyone that continues to support me. I really hope that a lot of people who thought I lied that that is now clarified and a lot of people who think that I am negative or ill will that that is now clarified. I'm hoping that Freely's subscribers that support her can tell me in the comments below why you're mad about me asking someone to be positive because I genuinely like to know and I want you guys to know that no matter how many more videos that Durian makes about me saying I've had plastic surgery and that I don't pay my own bills and that I'm a Kylie Jenner wannabe and how many videos of Freely saying that I think her boyfriend's a pedophile even though I never said that no matter how many more videos they make I am ending this because I want to move on with positive happy funny videos on my channel but I wanted to go ahead and clear my name and let you guys know that I would never lie to you or jeopardize that so yeah that is the end of this video in this feud uh, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.